Hi everyone, Arjuna Preach today and I hope I will make some sense because it's a crazy uh, world out there and I'm kind of distracted. I'm on a live without pay from my job and well, as I said, the, cra <laughs> the world gone crazy. So, it's use your stash, use your painty papers or a designer papers, whatever you've got, use it. Now, I've already got some painty papers here and I will show, just so we will be on the same page, I will show you how I've done them. And I also have this, uh, this is a piece from a uh, wrapping paper that I think of using uh, to create the background. So these are the papers I'm planning of using and they are very simple and very fun to make. This is just printer paper and I've got some acrylic paints here. I've got Art Deco Mandarin here and let's put it a little bit of it here on the side if it will yeah cooperate and I've got a strawberry it really doesn't matter use whatever you have any kind I've used in the past if it's acrylics if it's gouache again whatever you have I've got here a turquoise it really doesn't matter just have fun with it and some plastic a uh, cards you can uh, go many ways about it you can start with one a uh, color like so and then switch to another color you can scrape it like this you can <laughs> scrap it on the paper as uh, however you like and you can move to another color and again you can do something random like this or you can go horizontal or whatever just as i said have fun it really doesn't matter and you can build on it as much as you want you don't like it you have too much of this uh, strawberry you can always wait for it to dry and go over it and if it doesn't it still doesn't <laughs> look like you wanted it throw it away or put gesso on it it's really don't have to fuss over it so that's basically what i've done and it really doesn't matter and if you want you can also do all kinds of uh, markings on your page you can also take several colors at once and do whatever you want here we go and if you want to leave white space leave white space you don't want <laughs> white space just cover it so as I said it's just having fun with the colors Here we go. So I'm uh, leaving this be and I'm going to use the ones that I already have. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut uh, pieces out of it and just use the pieces to build my background. And I'm not measuring it and it really doesn't matter. smaller pieces but let's make my life easier and I'll just pile it up as much as I can and here we go so that's the pieces I want and I am thinking also of using this so again very quickly really doesn't matter the size or that it would be with straight lines 
just have something to work with most of it will be covered I am going to use um, exclusion technique for this I'm going for whimsy we really need whimsicals to brighten the mood so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a glue stick and start putting down the pieces now I'm starting uh, by covering the edges it would be just easier so I'm uh, aligning the, the pieces I have with uh, the edges of my page but once I've got this I'm going to uh, put my pieces not straight I am going to put them in a mess a pile of mess that's what I'm planning of course I can uh, take a piece like this one and I can do uh, put it like this and then trim the edges whatever you want it really doesn't matter as I said have fun with it I am not planning anything that's the all a uh, purpose right now of this a uh, whimsical page that I'm planning uh, it's that I will not a uh, that it's not planned where the color is it just needs to be very very colorful in a messy way and here I'm starting to put the pieces as I want in a mess you see really doesn't matter like so and I'm going to continue uh, putting them down all over the page and they are going to overlap and as I said really doesn't matter and of course you can <laughs> Hey, put your pieces however you want. Just have fun with it. Don't try think overthink it. You know, you just need a colorful background. That's that's it. Here we go. So I'm going to continue putting down these pieces. And I'll be back when all this page is covered. I'm back. So, uh, I've uh, covered the whole page. And I did try to keep uh, the darker tones uh, to, the <laughs> to this area and the lighter tones here. But otherwise, I quite went with it randomly. I'm going to start making marks on my page. I really like these uh, circles I have, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, to take all kinds of stuff to make uh, circle marks. And I'm taking now some acrylic orange paint. This is something from the cheap store. And let's see. I don't want too much and no nope. maybe if I'll flatten it here yeah that's better okay so quite randomly all over the page And of course, it will be a more a noticeable here on the darker background and less here. But all the same, I am going to uh, st 
stamp it here also and again this is quite random yeah next let's see uh, I've got uh, this circle and let's take I'm going to put some white here let's mix this together Oops. and I'm not concerned about a perfect print I'm just adding color and having fun with it yeah let's see do I want something else let's try I've got turquoise now and again this is our all cheap paint from the cheap store so let's see uh, this is some kind of wooden embellishment that again from the cheap store and I'm thinking it had a hole in one side I'm thinking it was supposed to be for jewelry making I bought it of course to make some prints with it and I can tell you it worked uh, quite nicely on a jelly plate <laughs> So as you can see this is quite random uh, the print is not great but that's not the purpose of this thing it's just adding color and I think it also helps to bring the whole uh, background uh, together when you've got the same element repeating all over and it doesn't matter what element it is then it's more cohesive even with all this mess of colors and shapes and movement yeah so uh, I think this is it uh, and this needs to dry before I'm moving on so I'll be back I'm back this is dry and now I want to seal it the first because I have all these uh, pieces of paper that I don't want to, to move or and they are stuck right now just with the glue stick and also with the ex exclusion technique it's better that you have some kind of sealer so you can correct yourself if uh, something didn't go as planned so I'm just using white glue, plain white glue and going with sponge brush over everything and here we go one corner of this is not stuck down that's why it's better to seal everything and I'm using the sponge brush because I don't want puddles and I'm hoping all this will dry uh, quickly so I can uh, move forward so here it is uh, more corners that are not stuck quite good to my page and this will make sure everything stays in place hope I covered everything let's see here a little bit more in several places corners from these pieces of paper are uh, not stuck down and now it will be in place 
not going anywhere yeah I hope I covered everything and again need to wait <laughs> so I'll be back and I'm back so this is dry and now exclusion technique uh, uh, many ways to go about it and first of all you can just draw freehand your design and then you exclude what you don't want and I will uh, show in a minute and explain another uh, way you can go about it you can plan ahead and this is the dis uh, this is what I'm planning for uh, this page and I can uh, plan it or something like this and then use graphite uh, paper copy paper tracing paper whatever to uh, transfer my design here uh, you, if you are not comfortable with drawing you can always use your stencils you decide you want uh, something you just trace it on your page you can use a white pencil a just a soft a graphite pencil like a 10b or 6b 12b and whatever you can um, use chalk uh, anything if you are confident you can use permanent marker and then exclude the other stuff so a lot of ways to go about it so this is my design and i'm going to transfer it with the graphite paper where is it? Kind of large. And let's see how to go about it with this small space that I have. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put it like this. and here is my design and now I have to go all over it and when you're doing something like that and you have texture in your background because all the uh, paper pieces then it's better to use something that is not sharp and I'm not quite concerned about accuracy I just want to put my elements on the page so it will be easier when I get to it so as you can see quite I'm moving very quickly I don't care if it's accurate not accurate Oops. and it's whimsical so it really doesn't matter and you can use whatever you want and I think it moved a little bit never mind okay so I don't know how much you can see here but uh, I have the lines and now several ways to go about exclusion technique you can uh, take acrylic paints and now go and cover all uh, things other than your design with a paintbrush of course and you can do it with a um, Two kinds of markers you can use a uh, markers that are like sharpie alcohol based and they are permanent and you trace uh, all your uh, design and exclude uh, what you want another way is to take a uh, 
acrylic pens like Posca pens and do the same as you are as you can do with the permanent markers I'm going with the easiest I'm going to use a permanent marker and I'm going to use this blue at least I think but uh, let's see I have another that is a round head like this and it doesn't work great let's see if I have another blue marker okay so basically what I'm going to do is something like that and now a uh, everything that is not my design I will have to go over with the marker uh, you can also uh, do several things I can go over my design with a permanent marker and still use acrylic paint uh, to exclude the background so all I am left is the design with all this uh, lovely random colors so whatever works for you and I'm thinking maybe I will use this because the tip is a little bit narrower and easy to go about it so right now I'm uh, tracing my design and still everything looks like a complete mess and it will take a little bit of time to take shape and now what I'm doing and it doesn't have to be a comp uh, all of it doesn't have to be in the same uh, color not doesn't matter what you're using if you're using uh, markers uh, acrylic pens if you are using paint you can uh, exclude the background with a variation of colors so what I'm uh, doing is I'm starting here to exclude this uh, background with this uh, purple permanent pen and moving the blue one it really doesn't matter it's playing time so I can use whatever I want <laughs> wherever I want there are no rules and I can change again just so I will have a little bit more interest So you see I'm now excluding the background and leaving only my design and that's where uh, all this randomness in the background comes to play because it's really random what I have in each piece. Now the good thing about using uh, acrylic paint uh, in this technique is that because we sealed uh, what we've got um, uh, all this uh, is sealed if you are making a mistake you can wipe it off with a baby wipe what you can't do is with a permanent marker but right now I'm just having fun and I don't care what's the worst that could happen that's why I'm using the markers and it's going to take me quite some time to exclude the background but I think it's worth it you see I'm just changing between the purple and the blue 
I can uh, go and introduce another color or I can do everything in the same color really doesn't matter so I'm it's going to take me quite some time to do this and I'll be back when it's done because it's really going to take a lot of time I'll be back I'm back so took me <laughs> quite some time to go all over this page I hope you can see uh, all these lovely details I know some of you don't like this kind of uh, technique that covers all this work but I've got here I don't know how much you can see but I do have variations and I do have lovely texture in the background even where it's all covered and I had so much fun making it so I think that's a uh, probably the whole point of it so here is my whimsical page I hope you use whatever you have in your stash and have fun with it thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.